my brother Gary and I grew up on Vancouver Island, and like most of our friends, we played multiple sports, like soccer, basketball, rugby, and lacrosse. We had great success as young athletes that resulted in a call from Coach Simmons inviting us to play lacrosse for Syracuse University. With the help of our teammates, we quickly adjusted to the college style of lacrosse, but it was during the NCAA tournament in 1987 that we realized college lacrosse was no different than the lacrosse we grew up playing. From that point forward, we knew we had the team, and if we could apply what we learned growing up, we could win. Gating cranks his yeah. score, fire, score, score! Gating wide oh. score! When the dust settled on our time at Syracuse, our team went 42-1, and had three NCAA national titles. Our 1990 team is still considered the greatest team of all time. The team that has dominated for the last three years. And Gary, of course, considered the greatest player of all time. But it was more than his four-time All-American and two-time National Player of the Year honors that made him different. It was his creativity that set him apart. Stop it! Tremendous goal! First time ever had been done, I guarantee you that. Here he comes! Fine move there by Gary Gate. To this day, Gary applies the same principles he used at Syracuse to coach his teams to success. Gary's number 22 has become the symbol of success for Syracuse lacrosse, and I'm proud to see it hang in the dome forever.